Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use the banking system on the TriCaster Flex Dual. Unfortunately, it won't help you manage your money, but it will help you manage all the different sources on your TriCaster, so you can switch your shows easily. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up, and I have my TriCaster Flex Dual on my desk. And now let's go ahead and take a look at banking. So uh, what banking allows you to do is, depending on the model of TriCaster that you have, you may have a ton of different inputs. Uh, so for example, on my uh, TriCaster 2 Elite, I have, a, a, I think, 32 different inputs for me to choose from. And I only have so many buttons here on the layout that I have to uh, be able to manage all of those sources. So banking allows you to move over to a different section of your inputs so that you can go through and start to manage them. So uh, for example, right now I'm on bank number one and I have my inputs uh, one through 12 available to me along with my four DDRs and my eight different mix effects. And if I go to bank number two by pressing on this bank button, in fact, let me zoom in so I can show you where that is located. It'll be right next to your T-bar over here. Uh, and if I go to bank number two, let me go ahead and zoom out. Uh, that now gives me access to my inputs uh, 13 through uh, 24 over here, uh, along with my four DDRs and my eight mix effects. And if I go to bank number three, that gives me access to all of my buffers and my inputs uh, 25 through 32 and black here at the end. So now you can manage this however you want, but this is just how I have this set up by default for today's example. Now, one thing I do want to mention is both my top stripe and my bottom stripe are currently assigned to uh, my program and preview rows, and these are going to act independently of each other. So depending on how you have this set up, you can simply say, all right, I want bank number one to be these particular uh, inputs here, and then I'll have my bottom stripe be bank number two, and then I could switch those accordingly doing it that way. But if you have it set up a different way to where like say your top stripe is assigned to a mix effect for example, uh, then using your uh, banking is going to be a good way for you to uh, bounce back and forth between things. Okay, so uh, I'm on bank number one right now and I'm switching between my different mix effects. Cool. And let's say I want to bring up my buffer number uh, one on my program. I can say go to bank number three. That will reconfigure this and now I can say hit it, buffer number one, boom, that is on screen pretty quick, okay? But let's go back to buffer, I'm sorry, bank number one here, and I'll go back to one of my mix effects and zoom in here, because what I also wanted to show you is the ability to do momentary banking. So what that will allow you to do, instead of completely reconfiguring this and staying on that bank, because whenever you press these uh, banks, it basically makes your uh, flex uh, dual stay in whatever your banking configuration is, uh, and then you'd have to switch back to it. But say you just wanna do it really quickly, the easiest way to do that is you can just hold the bank button down and then make your selection and let go of it and it'll snap back to bank number one, okay? So that just kinda of shows you how that looks as a close up, but let me go ahead and show you that over as a wide shot here. All right, so uh, I'm on uh, bank number one right now and I'm switching between my mix effects and, oh, let's quickly go over to my buffer number one. Cool, hold this down, buffer number one, let go, snap back, and now I am back over in my bank number one and all I had to do was just simply hold that bank button down. And now I'm back over here in bank one, good to go. Cool, so there's some really cool and fun things that you can do with this that make switching your show really fast and convenient, just depending on how you want to set up your show. But I highly recommend checking this out. And of course, as you know, have some fun. There you go, another awesome way to use the TriCaster Flex Dual to control your productions. Now you can find more tutorial videos like this one by subscribing to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official. You can also find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visit our website, VizRT.com. And you can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at VizRT.com community slash Viz university. 
And if you're posting your work with VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.